Our home is of course a place we spend a lot of our time and if you want to save money on energy and water bills for you, your family or even your business, there is a simple and easy way which could make a huge difference and switch your thinking. Throughout this video, we'll take you through what the Energy Audit Kit will do for you and a visual step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. The Switch Your Thinking Energy Audit Kit has the power to reduce your energy usage by finding ways to make effective changes to lower your bills. They are available to loan from more than 100 libraries and community resource centres throughout Western Australia. I'm here with energy expert James Pederick. James, why are these kits such a great opportunity for people to take up? Households use about 60% of their energy in heating, cooling and hot water and these kits will allow them to understand how efficiently their, their appliances are working and how they can improve them to save more on their energy bills. Such a great idea. The main components of the kit include a thermal camera for locating drafts, gaps in insulation and checking fridge seals, a PowerMate plug-in monitor for measuring the energy consumption and running costs of appliances, a thermometer for measuring the temperature of rooms, fridges and freezers, a water flow measuring cup, a USB-C charging cable and a lens cloth. As always, you should familiarise yourself with the instruction manual, which includes safety information, useful tips on how to improve the efficiency of appliances and troubleshooting guidelines. It also contains five energy and three water audit tests. Once you are used to each device, it's an easy and interesting activity for the whole family. Before you start testing, you'll need a few simple items. A bucket with a capacity of nine litres with measuring markers, a cup, a smartphone for taking photos and using the stopwatch, and a notepad for recording your results. Also have on hand one to two years worth of electricity bills and your most recent water bills. Once you're ready, it's time to operate the thermal camera to check for hidden problems like drafts around windows. To start, hold the power button for a few seconds until the camera switches on. Then give the device a few minutes to warm up and calibrate. At a minimum distance of 26 centimetres, point the camera towards the areas you want to scan around your home or office. Press and hold the laser pointer button to activate. In the centre of the screen you will see a circle which indicates the target area and the reading on the display shows the temperature. To capture images, pull the trigger on the back of the thermal camera. To view images, quick press the power button to get to the gallery. Use the return button to get back to the original display to transfer images to a computer, connect to a PC using the supplied USB-C cable. Once connected, you can use the camera as you would any external storage drive. Before you return the camera to the case, remember to delete photos and ensure it is fully charged. To delete images, select the Delete All Files command. You'd be surprised how much electricity some appliances use, whether they're big or small. This is where the PowerMate Energy Monitor comes into play, revealing the major culprits. It's able to tell you how much energy is being consumed by measuring any appliance for a period of time, so you can calculate running costs and greenhouse gas emissions. In addition, it can also give you an idea of how much you will have to spend to run the appliance each quarter or even over a year. Always remember the safety advice outlined in the manual. Do not use the PowerMate in wet areas or outdoors. It should only be used with mains power appliances with a maximum of 10 amps or 2400 watts. The majority of small home appliances will not exceed this. Do not test multiple devices connected with a power board or double adapter. And if the current exceeds 10 amps, warning overload will be displayed on the screen. Turn off or disconnect the appliance as soon as possible to avoid damaging the PowerMate. The PowerMate is pre-programmed with your area's most common electricity tariff, but you should check this before use. 
The cost you pay for electricity per kilowatt an hour is shown on your bill. To set your electricity rate, press the menu button to scroll to cost. Then press and hold menu. Set cost will show on the screen. Pressing zoom allows you to change the number. Pressing run moves to the next digit, like setting a digital clock. The emissions value for your region are shown in the manual. The value can be set using the same method used for the cost setting. To work out power consumption on appliances like a kettle, unplug from the wall socket and connect the power mate, then plug the appliance back into the power mate. Press the run button to start and to stop a reading, then use the menu button to scroll the costs, greenhouse gas emissions, energy usage and meter reading. Record power and cost readings on your notepad. Before testing another appliance, clear existing data by holding the Run button until the Confirm Clear Data screen message appears. Then press Run to wipe the data. Now to check the temperature of your hot water. Before starting this test, make sure you find out the type of water system you have, as this will tell you the recommended temperature settings. Find the tap closest to where the hot water system is installed. Turn on the hot water tap and allow it to run for 15 to 30 seconds. Fill up your cup, place the thermometer in the cup and run the stopwatch for one minute. Then record the temperature reading. The next two tests will help you identify drafts in and around a building. Use the thermal camera to find hot and cold spots where gaps may be present, often felt around doors, exhaust fans and vents. Look at the ceiling and walls, taking note of hot spots compared to the cooler areas. Use the trigger to take an image of each discrepancy, noting down the temperature reading and location in each room. To determine the energy efficiency of fridge and freezers, start by placing the thermometer at the back of the appliance. Close the door and run a stopwatch for five minutes. Remove the thermometer and record the temperature shown. Repeat the test if you have any extra fridges and freezers. You can also check how effectively they are working by using the thermal camera to look for temperature variations around the doors and seals. The final three activities in the manual check for water use. To check the flow rate of your taps, use the basin flow measuring cup, starting with the two handles together. Turn on your tap at full rate to fill your cup and keep the water flowing. Gradually move the handles apart until it's level with the top rim. If your tap has an aerator, make sure you submerge the cup in the water. You can work out the flow rate by checking the number on the side of the cup. To test the water flow rate of shower heads, turn your shower onto your normal temperature and full flow rate. Start the stopwatch as soon as you place a bucket below the shower head and collect water for 15 seconds. Measure the amount of water collected in litres and times by four to get the flow rate per minute. To check the leaks in toilets, put a few drops of food dye in the cistern, check the bowl within 15 minutes if colour appears in the bowl, there is a leak that should be repaired. To test for other water leaks, first ensure all water fixtures and appliances are turned off. Write down the meter reading and then run the stopwatch for two minutes. After two minutes, compare the second meter reading with the first. If the number has increased, a leak might be to blame, and you can refer to the manual for more instructions. This free-to-loan kit gives you the chance to make some really effective changes to how you run your home or office. And by using the easy but helpful tips provided, you will save money on your energy and water bills every year just by switching your thinking. For more information, visit the website or send us an email.